Sorry, I am a couple minutes late. Um, so whenever I start stream, hello viewers, whenever I start stream, it makes me take like a screenshot or whatever for the, like the preview of the video. And the first class, first class, the first class, it always, it has like a little counter thing. It says like three, two, one. And then it would take like the, the snapshot for the, what do you call it? The screenshot. Snap the screenshot for the screen for that. Yeah, anyways. But the first, when I first like do the first class and the webcam is just like powering on or whatever, it's like three, two, one, 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 one. And it just says one for like 30 seconds. I'm like, okay, okay, we'll get just here be here a while. So, anyways, now, good morning. Everybody. I think it's Friday. I don't know what day it is. I'm really confused. It's, it's, um, quite bizarre this whole week and a half it's already been like a week and a half isn't that weird this whole week and a half has been very very um confusing in terms of knowing what day it is and trying to get a schedule down but hopefully most of you guys are good to go and you have a schedule kind of ironed out because we are gonna get started so i'm just gonna back we're gonna start with our jog and get warmed up uh four different sets each one's 15 seconds three two one here we go we're jogging just starting off nice and easy. Oh, I'll tell you what, it looks really nice outside, but it's still a little bit cold. So we'll see if it gets warmer. That'd be nice. Here we go. Get ready. Three, two, one. A little bit faster. A little bit faster using our arms to move, making sure we keep our core tight right here. Okay, we're not punching over, keeping all our muscles engaged. Keep going. Three, two, one. One sprint, 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 sprint. Here we go. We're going. Keep mowing. moving. I said mowing. Keep mowing the lawn. Keep mowing the lawn. Come on. Here we go. Three, two, one. High knees. High knees going up. Run, run, run. Come on. Try to get your knees all the way up to your waist if you can. Come on. Ten seconds. We got it. We got it. Come on. Three, two, one. And ten. That felt good. Okay. Now we're gonna get to our actual warm-ups, our actual workout warm-ups. So here we go. Let's start with jumping jacks. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully you're counting. So I'm not <laughs> good. Ready? Up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Count. Good. Crossovers. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Five. Keep going. Nine. Ten. Seal class. Ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice job. Getting into our push-up position. Remember, if you can't do ten, that's totally fine. Just do five, do three, do seven, whatever. Make sure they're good pushing so Here we go. Hands are shoulder width apart. Uh, underneath the shoulders, flat back, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh! All right. Break downs. We're on our back. Ankles locked up in the air. Make sure we don't grab onto our legs as we sit up. Make sure we use our core. My core is ready for this. My core is sore. So this is gonna be fun. Ready? One, two, three. Keep going. Four, five. Your turn. Six, seven, eight. Oh boy. Nine, ten. Oh, that's hard to do when your your core is sore. All right. Let's just check. Make sure. Liam. Hi, Liam. Good morning, Liam. Hopefully you're having a good Thursday. Make sure everybody else is online, good to go. And it looks like we are. All right, so we're getting started with our shadow boxing. So er, I'm gonna scoot back. We're gonna be in our stance, so feet shoulder apart. Take your right leg, step back, left leg's in front, hands are up. This week we've been talking about using our four straight. Four straight is when we do a jab, cross, Jab, cross, so four straight punches. 
Okay, what I want us to focus on a lot today is bending our legs. So if you're throwing punches like this, that's okay. But what's gonna make it really good is you take your legs and you bend them a little bit. Now, I bring my hands up to the sides of my cheeks right here. I twist one, two, three, four, just like that. All right, so do it with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, good, ready. Go, one, two, three, four, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one more time, we'll go sideways. Ready, go, one, two, three, four, nice, good stuff. So now, okay, we're gonna do our four straight. We're gonna follow up our four straight like this. One, two, three, four. We've been talking about our clinch, right? This week, I'm gonna clinch, knee strike, all right? So watch from the side. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, clinch, knee strike. All right, ready? Do it with me. And go. One, two, three, four, clinch, knee strike. Good. Set back up. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, clinch, knee strike. Nice. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, clinch, knee strike. One more time. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, clinch, knee strike. Good. So now, we just clinch somebody up, right? We did a knee strike. We're gonna do that shove off we talked about. If you have somebody to clinch, shove off your partner, okay? We're only gonna do a little shove because off that shove, we're gonna set up our snatch takedown. Now, I don't have a partner to take down today, but I can still practice this, right? Pretend my partner is right here, okay? Here's their face. Here's their belly, all right? I'm in my stance. I go one, two, three, four, I clinch them up, pull them in, knee strike, and I give them a little push, and right out of that little push, I'm gonna set up, boom, for my snatch takedown. I'm gonna land in their guard and do punches. Now, the best part about this, grab your pillow, set up your pillow, and you can pretend to land in this pillow's guard so you can do punches from there. So watch, ready, we're here. Left legs in front, right legs in back, hands are up. We go one, two, three, four, clinch, pull them in, knee strike. Now I give them a little push. I set up my takedown, boom, so I land. Either in guard or I suppose you jump on top of the mount. Now from here we go one, two, three, four punches. All right, so we're gonna do two minutes. You do four straight, clinch, knee strike, show into our takedown, Four punches. All right, get ready. We'll go slow to start, so don't panic. I'll be there with you. Here we go. Feet shoulder apart. Right leg steps back. Hands are up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Clinch. Knee strike. Give a little push. Set up my takedown. Boom. I just took them down, right? Four punches. One, two, three, four. Good. Come on back up. Let's go again. Here we go. Hands are up. We go. One, two, three. Four, clinch, knee strike, shove, take down. Now on top of the mount or in guard. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna pretend to be in guard for my drill today. We're back, ready, go. One, two, three, four, clinch, knee strike, a little push, snatch, take down, woo! I did like a little frog jump right there. One, two, three, four, good. Scoot back, Whew. here we go, hands are up. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Clinch, knee strike, little push, snatch, take down. Now we're in guard. One, two, three, four. If you can go faster, that's fine. Just make sure you got good form and your legs are good. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Clinch, knee strike, little push, set up my takedown. One, two, three, four. Feeling good. I like this punching part. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Clinch. Knee strike. Little push. Take down. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I love punching pillows. I don't want to do that this, I'm sure. I'm going to punch pillows just because I'm so used to it. One, two, three, four. Clinch. Knee strike. Push. Snatch. Take down. One, two, three, four. Sorry, Mr. Pillow. Keep going, guys. Almost there. Bend those legs. One, two, three, four. Clinch. Knee strike. Give a little push. Snatch takedown. One, two, three, four. Almost there. 
Come on, we've got one more. And go. One, two, three, four. Push. Oh, nice job. I got half of one. All right, so now, okay, now we talk about moving people with the clinch, right? So now we're here, we go one, two, three, four, we clinch, pull them in. I don't just go straight with my knees, right? Now I want to move my partner around to kind of get them off balance. So if I move them this way, that leg steps back, then we do our knee strike. If I move them this way, this leg steps back, and then this leg does the knee strike. And notice I always come up with my toes, okay? The power comes from the hips, and I'm gonna accentuate the movement of my hips by driving through my toes, all right? So here we go. Feet shoulder apart, right leg steps back, hands are up. So do it slow. We go one, two, three, four, clinch. Pull them in. We're gonna move to this side or this side. Whatever side we move to, that leg's gonna step back. I'm gonna move this way to start. So I'm gonna step that leg back, keep my clinch in nice and tight, and knee strike. Now off my knee strike, you ready for things to get crazy? Off my knee strike, so knee strike right here. I'm gonna step forward with my knee strike. Push them back, tie kick. All right? So let's try this all day. This is getting complicated and fancy. So feet shoulder a little apart. Right leg steps back, hands are up. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Clinch, pull them in, move to the side. And as I move, I'm gonna step. Now, notice my leg is still bent. Knee strike, okay? We do that knee strike, pull our toes, and we're gonna land in front. Now I push my partner away, time again. I did a little fancy thing up in there. So <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that, but every time we finish a set, right? So we're here, we go one, two, three, four, clinch, move, knee strike, step, high kick. Every time we finish a set, we get a drop down and do one perfect push up. Now you're thinking one push up, that's not a lot to do, but yeah, but guess what? It's gotta be perfect. So I don't mean drop down, be like, Okay, that's not a perfect push up, okay? Watch my perfect push up. My hands, right, are nice and flat on the ground. I'm not on my fingertips or my thumbs, right, flat. My back is nice and flat, and I go down and up. Slow and smooth, perfect, okay? We're gonna go two minutes, and I hope you're enjoying this rest because after this class is gonna get a little crazy. So get set up, I'll help you out. We're in our stance, feet shoulder apart. Right leg steps back, hands are up, legs are bent, get ready. Here we go, we go one, two, three, four, clinch. Pull them in, move our partner, knee strike, land in front, push, tie kick. All right, set back up, ready? And go, one, two, three, four, clinch. Pull them in, move our partner, Knee strike, land in front. I didn't push that guy away because he ran away that time. Ready? Here we go. We got one, two, three, four. Clinch, pull them in, move our partner. Knee strike, land in front. Push, tie. Set back up. Oh no, you know what we forgot to do was our push ups. Oh, since the best brain is broken for the Thursday, two days, it's Friday. So we have to do three because we're behind. So we have one. It's one perfect push up. Two, gotta do more. Three, okay, now we're all caught up. Sorry guys, I got too excited on my tackets. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, clinch, pull them in, move. Knee strike, land in front, push, tie kick. Now we can do our push up. Oh boy, right, here we go, one perfect push up. One. Oh, that seems pretty good. I think that was pretty perfect. All right, ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Clinch, pull them in, move our partner, knee strike, hand in front, push, tie kick, 30 seconds. Come on. Perfect push up. Ready? Roll. Let's see, put it together right there. We got one more, ready? One, two, three, four. Clinch, pull them in, move our partner. Knee strike, land in front, shove, tie kick. Last 
perfect push up. Here we go. Ready? Perfect. Oh, that's so good. Ready? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. All right, good stuff, guys. So grab a quick drink if you need to. We're gonna check our messages. Um, let's see who else is joining us. The Potter Boys. Hello, Colby. Hello, Noah. Um, Martin is here. Hi, Martin. Sweet. All right, let me check my other messages. There are multiple messages I have to check. I'll also grab my pillow to rest on while I am checking my messages. Very comfy. Okay, so earlier this week, I think it was Monday, we did a 60 second challenge, which some of you guys participated in, some of you guys did not. I remember my number, so this is good. If you already did this challenge, okay, it's the 60 second punch challenge. So basically, you're in mount, okay? I'm mount on top of my partner, and I'm gonna do as many punches as I can in 60 seconds, okay? Good punches, obviously, but punches. Um, and we're gonna try and beat our number from before. If you weren't here and you didn't do this, then you get to just see how many you can do in general, okay? Good news though is we're doing this multiple times today, so you gotta really keep track of your number. So if you're like me, you got a piece of paper, can't grab my paper. Got a piece of paper and a pen or a marker or a pencil to write down. So I know last time I did this, I got 152 punches. That's a lot of punches, I think. Okay. So my job today is to try and get at least 153. Okay. Maybe you didn't do this last time, in which case, have your mom grab a piece of paper real quick. Have her just write down your baseline number for today, and we're going to see what we can do. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to do 60 seconds of punching this pillow or your stuffed animal or your stuffed pillow. That's kind of just a regular pillow, I guess. As many times as you can in 60 seconds. Okay, and you got to count. Now, you, don't, you can't do this, right? That doesn't count. You have to wind up. Right? We talk about using our whole body. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, I'd rather you do a little bit less and have really good form than you're doing this and you get 500 because that doesn't count. Okay? I mean, I got only 152, which is still a lot. But I could probably get way more if I was punching like this. Don't want to get more if they're bad for me. So I'm going to do 60 seconds, okay? I'm going to write down my number. After that 60 seconds, we're going to pop up, okay? And we have to do 60 seconds of jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Now that seems super boring, okay? It's not. Those are all very important punches. And we're going to have a little contest to see whose form looks the best because we're going to be tired after this. Okay, going right from 60 seconds of this, right into 60 seconds of punching. You're gonna be tired, okay? So I'm gonna set my timer. Parents, I hope you guys are set up with some paper. I'll give you one more second. Kids, get on top of the mount. We are going to get started. All right. I wanna try and get 160. That's gonna be my goal, okay? So we're here. Is everybody ready to go? All right. Getting my timer good. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Keep going. It's hard to count while I'm punching. I think I'm counting up. I got 211. I think I've beat my record. All right. So real quick, pop back up, because now we're going into our punches. So we're doing jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Three, two, one. Feet shoulders apart. Right leg back, hands are up. Here we go. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Good. Look at this form. Ready? Go. One, two, hook, hook, 
uppercut, uppercut, using my legs. We're moving our head, we're boxing, ready, go. One, two, go, hook, uppercut, uppercut, keep going, keep going. I'm moving my head around, ready, go. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Now we're doing slow motion, ready? One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Now we're driving in those legs, ready, go. One, two, three. Four, uppercut, uppercut, good. Ready, go. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, almost there, come on. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. One more set this time, go fast, ready, go. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut. Oh, time, this time, okay. Whew, catch your breath. And now, we're going back to the punching on the pillow, I know. So, now, I don't have to beat 152. Now I have to beat 211. So I gotta try and get 212 punches at least. Okay guys, take a couple more deep breaths. I wanna get ready to punch this pad. You guys ready to go? All right, have your goal in mind, okay? Focus, don't get distracted, okay? Focus on your punches being perfect and focus on beating your number. Here we go. We are starting in three. Two, one, go. I might not talk as much, because you gotta count. Oh, the bird is slipping away. <laughs> he was running away from me, he didn't wanna get punched anymore. Like I said, some of you guys might think this is boring, but the warriors, okay, we know how important this is. So here, feet shoulders apart, right leg goes back, hands are up, ready, go, one, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, good, I'm moving on my feet, my heels are even off the ground, that's how fast I want to be, ready, go, one, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, good, Coach Vincent right now, ready, go, one, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, Ready, we'll go slow this time. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Try to keep my elbows in. Ready, go. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. I'm gonna be a softball fighter after all these videos. Ready, go. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Keep going. Ready, go. One, two, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Ready, go. One, two, hook, hook. Uppercut, uppercut. One more set, ready? Go, one, two, hook, hook. Uppercut, time, nice job. All right, last round. Last round for the challenge. I'm gonna go sideways this time, so you can see my form from the side. So now, I have to beat 230 punches. Oh man, okay. Hopefully you guys are writing down your numbers and beating them. Okay, remember, if you wanna succeed, when it comes to doing stuff that's hard, okay, and training, it starts up here, okay? You can uh, you can do it, but a lot of times our brain tells us we can't. Oh, it's too hard, oh, I'm too tired. Okay, you gotta keep going, you gotta keep focus up here, and gotta keep focusing your body. Use your whole body, even me, I was noticing towards the end, Oh, you know, my form's not as good as I want it to be, okay? I gotta keep trying to focus on having perfect form. All right, here we go. We're gonna set that timer. I'm getting 250. You ready for this? I'm not gonna be able to talk a lot because I'm gonna focus. Three, 
two, one, go. Are so dry. I'm just like, oh, can't see a thing. So if I'm doing weird faces, it's not you. It's just I can't see. I'm my eyes are really good. So grab a quick seat and gather around. We get a quick break, and uh, I would love to hear what your numbers are. Okay, real quick. Okay, so there's my numbers. So if you also the picture I drew yesterday of me and Coach Jay eating ice cream. Uh, if you uh, had your mom or dad or you wrote it down, okay. Have somebody message it to me, okay? I would love to see what your improvement was, what you were able to accomplish, okay? And the fun part is, at the end, you were actually more tired. I was more tired at the end. But I'm telling you, you focus, okay? And you're able to push a little bit harder than you think. So anyways, moving back to what we were saying. Let's talk about benevolence, okay? We are almost done with another week, which is crazy. Benevolence is taking care of other people. This is a huge thing when we're talking about martial arts. Now, the weird thing about martial arts and taking care of people is a lot of times we think about martial arts, we think about kind of more of the violent side of things. We're punching, we're kicking. Okay? You don't really think martial arts has anything to do with taking care of people. How do those two things have anything to do with each other? Okay, well, martial arts, okay, and a lot of things like martial arts, you know, um, but particularly martial arts, it has a lot to do with passion, okay? And you wouldn't really think that. Some of you guys are going, I don't know what passion means, okay? Passion is a really crazy, strong love for something, okay? So, for example, some people might say they're passionate about waffles because the waffles are delicious. Okay, this is a good example. <laughs> That's a horrible example. But basically, okay, when you're really passionate about something, when you really, really love something, you will do anything to make sure that thing happens, to make sure that thing is safe, to make sure you get that thing, right? If you really, really, really want a skateboard, 
and you just had to get, you would do anything. You'd be like, mom, I will scrub the toilets. Mom, I will clean my bedroom every day, multiple times. I don't even care. Okay. You like when you're super passionate about something, okay, that's it, it matters so much to you. Okay. So in martial arts, because martial arts is really like intense, and I mean, we're here, we're punching stuff, like you have to really want to be good at that to be good at it, okay? Not anybody can walk in and want to do a bunch of push-ups and run around. Like, you have to really want to be good at that because a lot of times it's hard to be good at it, okay? It's hard work, right? If you really want that skateboard, you don't just magically get it, okay? You have to want it so bad that you're willing to work for it and clean the toilets and do extra chores and all this stuff, right? So what does this have to do with benevolence, okay? Well, let me try and explain this to you in a simple way. If you really care about a person, you will do anything to help them. Sound kind of familiar, right? Okay. You really want to be a black belt, you'll do anything to get your black belt. You really want to help somebody, you'll do anything to help somebody. It all comes down to passion, okay? It all comes down to I don't care so much about what happens to me, I care about this thing instead. Okay. And because martial artists are such passionate people, okay, we are so passionate about training. We don't care if we get beat up, we don't care if we get tired, we don't care if our muscles get sore, we keep going, right? We keep working. We are the same type of people that are excellent for helping others, okay? We have had that passion and that drive to just go, go, go and do stuff. Why wouldn't we use that passion to also help people, okay? If we have that passion to get us through training and to get us through these workouts and, oh, I'm tired, sensitive breath, but no, 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 I really want my black belt. I'm going to keep going even though it's really hard. That same drive, that same passion is what makes us really good at benevolence, and like I said, benevolence is taking care of people. It's not easy to take care of people. Does anyone ever have like a younger brother or a younger sister? Okay, or maybe you are the younger brother or younger sister. And sometimes, you know, it's hard work. Okay, I have, wait, I gotta count, four younger siblings, siblings, four siblings that are younger than me. Okay, there are six kids in my family and four of them are younger than me. And I remember my mom would say sometimes, like, oh, you need to watch so-and-so. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> this is so much work. Little kids run around, around, they make a mess, they scream, they cry. It's not easy to take care of someone, okay? Uh, especially when that person really needs to be taken care of, okay? Meaning it's not like, oh, well, I guess I'll just hang out with my younger brother because he needs help. No, no, no. It's like, what about when your younger brother falls down? He's riding his bike, he falls down, and he scrapes up his leg, and his leg's bleeding, and it's scary looking, right? Oh, goodness, right? I don't want to help right now more than ever. This is scary. I don't want to. There's blood, right? I don't want to help with that. But that is what's most important. That's like when you're doing your workout, right? We're doing the punch in the pad. And you're going, something bad. I don't want to do this right now. We already did this twice. This is boring. My arms are tired. But guess what? Okay, that's when it matters the most, okay? That's when it's really hard. People need your help the most when it's scary, when they, you know, are in a messy situation, when there's blood, okay? When things aren't great, that's when we need to help people the most. And it, like, takes, like I said, it takes a special kind of person to do that. That's why warriors have to take that responsibility. That's why you and me, okay, and Sensei Carl and Coach Fry and all the coaches, right? That's why when things get really bad, we're the first ones that have to step up, okay? Now, maybe you're thinking to yourself, okay, Sensei Beth, I'm six. How am I, what am I supposed to do? Become a doctor? What? I'm six years old, I'm gonna be a doctor. No, okay, I'm not saying that. Although you can be a doctor someday if you want to. What I'm saying is, is even though it might not be easy to find, and even though it might not be your favorite, there is something you can do to help someone, okay? Maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your dad, maybe it's a brother or sister. Maybe it's even, you know, hey mom, there are doctors at the hospital and, you know, I can't help right now, but I know they're helping and I want to write them a letter saying thank you. Do you think that would mean a lot to maybe a doctor that's having a lot of work to do right now? I think so, right? That's a little thing. And we talked on Monday and Tuesday that the other important part about benevolence is that it's when you do something little, right? It doesn't have to always be big. It can be something little, but what matters is how much meaning it has, right? So even a little thing can have a lot of meaning, right? So to finish up with our little chat for today, benevolence, right? Taking care of others. It takes a special kind of person to help others when things get scary, okay? It takes a warrior to do that. And, you know, I know that you're doing this workout and you're here with me today. You've got the focus to sit down and listen to me talking. You've got the focus to punch this pad for three minutes, okay? you got the focus to do all the warm-ups and the push-ups. So if you're that kind of person, you are also the kind of person 
that can help people when things are scary. Having courage. Remember last week, okay? fear moving forward when you're afraid, but you do it anyways. Having courage to step up and do anything it takes to help people when things are scary. All right. Pretty cool, though, that you get to be a warrior and do that sort of thing. So to finish up, I have so many papers over here, by the way. There's like a I wish I could show you. There's like pictures. There's like notes. There's all kinds of weird things going on over here. I'm going to just take a picture at some point and show you. There's like going to be like a, it's going to look like one of those movies where the guy has like a massive like a board with like papers stuck all over it. I'm not describing this well at all. Like a spy movie and he's like trying to hunt down like a bad guy and he's following the, the steps through all the newspaper articles. That's what my area looks like over here. So just heads up. Okay, so popping up, we have one last technique to go over. Actually, I lied. I have to start down here. We have one last technique to go over. It is called the swim escape. If you have a partner, you get to do this with your partner. If you do not have a partner, you get to do it with no one. I mean, that's <laughs> you get to do it by yourself. You get to do it with me. Um, but before we start, let me introduce you to this neck. Or not neck. It's going to be a clinch. So they're going to be arms, actually. Okay, if somebody gets me in a clinch, okay? You ready? You ready for things to get really bizarre? Okay. This is somebody's arms. There. They've clinched me. This is their clinch. Okay, these are their arms. Their hands are back here. They're doing this. They're connecting me to clinch, right? I also just look like I just worked out, or I was just boxing somebody. Okay. <laughs> so, um, somebody gets you in a clinch, okay? Why? Why would somebody get you in a clinch? We talked about this Monday and Tuesday. First reason, it's harder for you to move around. One, because when somebody pulls your head this way, your whole body's got to go that way. You pull your head this way, your whole body's got to go this way. So, first things first, somebody's going to get you in a clinch to try and control your movement. Second thing, second, is that a thing? Second thing, second. Second, second thing, second, they're gonna get you in a clinch to break down your posture. When someone's pulling on your neck, you're not gonna be able to stand up nice and tall, you're not gonna be like this, you're gonna be like this, okay? So we wanna get out of there really fast. And one of the ways you can do it is called the swim escape. Swim escape is basically someone has me in a clinch and I sneak my hand inside their arms grab onto their, their neck, right? So now I have like half a clinch. Now my other hand's gonna sneak inside their clinch, grab onto the neck, boom. Now I have a clinch. Now we both have a clinch, right? I have a clinch, they have a clinch, but my clinch is better because, not just because it's mine, but because my clinch is inside their clinch, okay? So my clinch is gonna be stronger, okay? My clinch is directly on my partner's neck. Their clinch is like, over the top of my arms, if that kind of makes sense, okay? Now, when we do this for real, back it up. Okay, we're gonna have stance. I'll go this way. Right leg steps back, okay? Somebody gets us in a clinch. We don't wanna instantly just go like this, okay? I wanna try and get my legs bent. I want at least one arm across my partner's waist area, okay? Just in case we need strength. Now from here, I slide one hand in, grabbing your neck. Slide the other hand in, grabbing your neck. Boom, and I pull them into clinch nice and tight. If they put their arms up to bend, you can knee straight. Now remember, if you're doing this with a mom or a dad, or even if you're just doing this with a sibling that's not used to doing this, you gotta go nice and light with that knee straight. Clinching is meant to pull your partner down into knee straight range. It's meant to meet people in the face. So when we do this today, almost do the wrong thing and make sure you don't knee somebody in the face. Make sure they have a hand so you're kneeing their arm instead and make sure you throw your knee strike slowly. Not sloppily, not like this. Okay? Just go slow. Also, did you see my knee crack like eight times? <laughs> oh dear. I'm falling apart. Okay, so here we go. We'll do this one more time practice and then we'll set up with our partner. So somebody gets us in a clinch, right? We instantly bend our legs, try and get good posture. Make sure I got an arm in front to block those knee strikes. I'm gonna slide inside my partner's arms, grab your neck. Slide inside, grab my partner's neck. Pull them in nice and tight. Nice and easy to do a knee strike, all right? And remember, where's my towel? Remember, we slide inside our partner's arms. Meaning, you know, here's their clinch, okay? Um, well, I guess I'll just do it this way. I'm gonna go back to my Rocky Balboa after post fight, okay? <laughs> when we are in a clinch, right? Okay, we don't want to grab outside their clinch and grab their neck. These are their arms, right? I want to go inside their arms, grab onto the neck. 
this might be the weirdest thing I've done so far. Uh, this might take the cake in terms of me trying to escape or a negative joke about myself. That was also pretty weird, but that's, I think, weirder. Okay, so if you have a partner, we're going to do this back and forth, meaning I'm going to clench for my partner. They're going to escape, do a knee strike, then we switch. They clench me. I'm going to escape, do a knee strike, and then we go back and forth. I'm going to do it just by myself. If you're by yourself today, follow along with me. If you're with a partner, remember what I said, have good control. If you're gonna be like, hey mom, I need you to help me out with this, have good control. It's scary to do martial arts, it's scary to do things we're not good at, and it's scary to do stuff where we don't know what's gonna happen. So help your partner, okay? Set up, gonna set up the timer here. And we're going on the bell. So feet to over, right leg back, hands are up. So we get clinched, right? We're getting clinched up. I get good posture, put my arm in front to block. I'm gonna swim inside, grab their neck. Swim inside, grab their neck, I pull them in tight. Knee strike, I'm still coming up with my toes. All right, from a different angle, we're here. They get us in the clinch. We set up, get our little, uh, legs bent, arm goes in front. I'm gonna swim inside for the clinch. Swim inside for the clinch. Pull them in tight. Knee strike. Good. If you're the person that's helping, you're going to clinch the partner up, let them escape once they escape, defend with your arms in front, and then reset. All right, back to being the main, the main dude here. We're going to defend, swim, swim, pull in, and you can even remember this move, move your partner, then knee strike if you want to. All right, keep going. Make sure those knees are nice and light. So we don't hurt mom and dad and brother and sister here. Set up, defense, swim, swim, pull them in. I'm gonna move this way now. Move my partner if I want to. Knee strike, good. Keep going, guys. This is our last drill, so we gotta work hard. We're gonna talk about focus. Set it up, defense, swim, swim, pull them in. I like moving my partner. Knee strike. Notice I'm going nice and easy. 30 seconds. I'm going nice and easy, but I'm still extending on that toe. Ready? Defense. Swim. Swim. Pull them in. Move. Because I like to move. Knee strike. I think I got one more. Ready? Defense. Swim. Swim. Pull them in. Move my partner. Knee strike. All right, ready? Swim. Swim. Oh, nice job. All right. That was it, guys. That was the last drill. So, it's so weird because I really do feel like it's Friday. You sure it's not Friday? It's not Friday. Feels like Friday. Anyways, <laughs> let's check our messages. Oh, we got some numbers from Martin. Martin got 93, 101, 112. Nice job, dudes. That's improvement. And like I said, that's when you were more tired, too. Imagine being more tired. You're getting more work done. That's all mental, right? It's all your brain going, go, 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 you can do it. All right, good stuff, guys. So we're going to finish up with a little stretching. We're going to go to butterfly stretch. I'll scoot back so you can see. Feet together. Knees are going to the floor. And while we're stretching, just um, I'm going to kind of try to make this announcement all week if possible. There is a video on the main Beyond the Belt Facebook page from Sensei Carl and his wife, Michelle. If you've not seen it, please watch it. It talks about what is going to be the plan for memberships in April. Um, you know, it's a little tough trying to uh, have an exact plan with anything. I think you guys know what I'm talking about with school, with work, with martial arts, with dance, but like everything is just kind of like in limbo. Like it's hard to make a definitive plan and go, this is what's going to happen two weeks from now because two weeks go by. I'm like, well, okay, maybe not. So, but we do know this, okay, that April, we do have that plan, or at least for memberships and payments, what that's gonna be like. When we reopen exactly, we're like I said, it's gonna be a little bit play by ear, but we do kind of hope to open up in April at some point. Obviously, at some point. <laughs> one leg in, one leg out, reach for our toes. But please watch that video um, if you're a parent, just to make sure you're aware of what's going on. And obviously, you can always message me if you have any personal questions or concerns. But um, but yeah, in the meantime, we're just stretching and hanging out. It's gonna be good. I gotta be honest, today today was a little 
it's a little weird. Um, so there's just, like I said, you know, there's so much stuff going on day to day um, that it's not always easy to show up and train. Today was not an easy day for me to show up and train um, for some some personal reasons that I'll probably go into a little bit more for some of the parents on Facebook, but switching sides. But uh, that's, like I said, you know, when we talk about benevolence and taking care of people. My job is to help take care of you guys and to keep you guys training, keep you guys motivated. Um, and that means no matter what, even when it's hard, okay? Even when it might not be the easiest day, we always stick together and help each other out. And this is this is me trying to help be by being choked by a towel and things like that. So, which might not feel like a, mo- a, lo- a lot, a lot, I can't English today because it's Friday in my brain. Might not feel like a lot, but you know, we, we all trying to do our best here. So we're gonna straddle, er, reaching down. Let's see, we got some pictures coming in. Nice, Martin. Dang, he's beating up. Is that a blanket or is it? That might be a blanket. He rolled a blanket. Maybe. Nice job, Martin. And he trained the mom. Awesome. Good job. I hope you were training safely with um, your mom today, Martin. I know if I was training my mom, I'd be extra careful because I love my mom. I don't want to accidentally hurt my mom. Good. Shaking our legs in. We're going to go to a frog stretch. Our last stretch of the day, everybody. So the knees go out to the side. And also, fun fact, if um, if you are able, we don't have class on Wednesday, but um, we do, we call it the stretch and catch up session. <laughs> Not catch up as in like, mustard ketchup as in like catching up um and basically we just do stretches we ask some like fun questions you guys get to answer um yesterday coach jacob joined me which was really fun so go back and watch that if you want to you know fill your time with some interesting conversations <laughs> that's a really good time just, uh chance was to kind of hang it hang out a little bit with you guys because we missed that good bring our feet in and our knees in Woo! all right good job today guys Really nice work. Um, I apologize for making you do a lot of punches and things like that, but uh, that's what warriors do. We do what we gotta do, even when it's tough. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow for more fun and games and push-ups and adventures. Until then, keep working hard. Remember, our goal this week is to be sure one benevolence, little acts of you know kindness and well-meaning and taking care of people, but they have big meaning. All right, um, so. Little things, but they mean a lot. I will see you all tomorrow. Until then, bye.